How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Melissa as recorded by the Allman Brothers on guitar. This is a soulful song in the key of E and I'm going to be showing it to you in standard tuning and we're going to use these typical kind of what I call singer-songwriter chords that are great to play especially in the key of E where you can just take some shapes and slide them around the neck and let some open strings ring out and get a really great sound. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step, but before we get started, I wanna hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below, I've got a guitar book all about soloing that you can download completely for free. And with that book, you'll also get some exclusive training videos that are not on YouTube. So you're gonna get some videos that have tabs and sheet music. So if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're gonna get a ton more value out of this free content below. All right, well, thanks for checking that out. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Melissa as recorded by the Allman Brothers on guitar. Now we're gonna start with this intro that's a four bar intro and it's sort of the main vibe and chord progression for this song. It walks up the scale here in the key of E major and then back down. Here's what it sounds like. And these are really common singer-songwriter chords. What I'm playing is an E. That's just your standard E chord. Open, two, two, one, open, open. And then I move to an F sharp minor 11, which looks like an F sharp minor chord like this, but what I've done is bring my index finger down to the second fret on the third string. And you can play this from the fifth string down like this and then leaving these two strings open. So four, four, two, open, open. If you can, I get my thumb there on the six string second fret. And then I move that same chord up two frets, again, keeping these open strings ringing in there. And then back down. So each chord lasts one measure like this, E. F sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor. And then we do that again for the first part of the verse and that's where the vocal comes in. So that sounds like this. So the first eight bars here, the verse, are gonna start off the same way the intro goes. So E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor. And then the next two bars, again, start off the same way, E, F sharp minor. But this time, we're gonna do this walk up. We're gonna go A to B to C sharp minor to D. And that's two beats on each chord. So the chords start moving quicker there, because so far in the song we've been going one, two, three, four, four beats per chord. But now we kick it up and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first eight. Then we have four more bars, which again do some more climbing up the scale like this. So what's going on here is we go E to F sharp minor, same as before, G sharp minor, A, but this time the chords are still moving at that two beats per chord. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we spend a whole bar on C major seven, which is like your C chord, but we're gonna take off that index finger. This great C major seven sound. Now what I did is I actually put the G in the bass. I, I love this chord. It's a great, really fat sounding chord. Two, three, four, then B seven. 
two, three, four. So that's two, one, two, open two for your B7. Now you could play B, like a bar chord like that, or you could do B7. And we'll just hit a whole note in that last measure. So the last four bars of the verse go. So I'll play the whole verse now as one piece, just so you can hear it for context. A one, two, three, and four, and E. F sharp minor. G sharp minor. Back down. E. F sharp minor. A. B. F sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, C major 7 over G, B7, 2, 3, and then a reintro. So let me talk a little bit about the strumming pattern that I'm playing here. And this is sort of a general uh, just pattern that will work throughout. Like when he starts off, he goes, And then I kind of just added one extra eighth note just to continue through the rest of the song, which is like one and two e and a three e and a four e and a one. So I'm starting off with two eighth notes, one and those are down strums. Then an eighth note and two sixteenths, so one and two e and a down 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 up. Then down up down up down, which would be kind of like this three e and a four e and a da da da. So all together, one and two E and a three E and a four E and a, or if I counted all 16 notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And then I'll just often do the first half of that like. When I'm playing two chords per bar. So I'll just do the first part and then copy paste that like one and two and a and a four and a one. Then the whole strumming pattern. Oh no. Two, three, four. Yeah, that's just one strum on those breaks. So the last part we got to cover is the bridge, and I'll play it for you first, and then I'll break it down. So what I played here was the first four bars go E, D, A, B7. And that's just one bar each. Then for the next four bars, we go C sharp minor, A, one bar each, and then B7 for two bars. And here we're going to change the strumming pattern slightly. We're going to go eighth notes, one and two and three, all downs. Then one, two, three, four. So that's going to sound like this. Then we go back to the verse. Now we play the verse all the way through until we get to the C major 7. Then we go 2, 3, 4, B7. And we go to this ending. Without Melissa. We go back to C. 2, 3, 4, B7. Without Melissa.
fun practicing Melissa as recorded by the Allman Brothers on guitar. I hope you got some value out of this video. Before you go, don't forget to download my free book and get the blues training. These are some exclusive videos that come with tabs and sheet music, so they're really going to help you out. So check that out at the first link down below. As always, leave any song requests in the comments. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you next time.